Hi, my name is Samara and you're watching Willow Life. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about big red lily pillies. I planted these shrubs three and a half years ago when we first moved into our home. This was the best decision I made. These lily pillies are an amazing screening plant. They totally block out my neighbors, giving me total privacy in our front yard. Spring is in the air and with it, chirping little birds. We found this adorable little bird's nest in our lily pilly trees. My daughter was absolutely fascinated with this nest. Lily pillies are an Australian native shrub. Lily pillies produce these little red berries and they can be used in jams. You'd have to add a lot of sugar because these berries are quite bitter in taste. What attracted me to purchasing lily pillies as my screening plant for my front yard was the beautiful glossy green leaves. So the new green leaves are nice and bright. I like this beautiful light green, but as the leaves mature, they, they're a more deeper forest green. Another amazing thing about these lily pillies is that they just grow so fast, just rapidly. I am so happy after three and a half years, I have this big, beautiful, thick shrub. Three years ago, with my newborn baby on my hip, I planted some spring bulbs around the lily pillies. I planted some spring stars. Amongst the spring bulbs, I also have wild orange California poppies. The seeds just germinate themselves and I don't really have to do anything. They just grow. Here I have my grape hyacinths. They are so beautiful. I just look forward to this time of year when all my spring bulbs are on full display and blooming. Here are some yellow daffodils. Uh, not many came up this year. I've seen like two daffodils total. My ultimate favorite spring bulbs have got to be Dutch irises. So along the edge in a nice tidy row, I planted a whole heap of Dutch irises and they are almost ready to bloom. Here you can see the wild California poppies coming up. If you're looking to start a hedge, look no further than Lily Pilly Big Reds. They, these shrubs will not disappoint. So I have some disappointing news. Our hens got into our raised garden bed where we had our strawberry patch planted. They were very cheeky. They've dug it all up and I'm sure there was lots of nice worms in there. Tasty worms, a lot of bugs. So <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to plant here now. Maybe some tomatoes um, or I could replace the strawberries. I'm not sure yet. So my cheeky hens are here behind me. As you can see, they are super happy. I do feel bad leaving them in that small space. So I do let them out daily. They do get to have a run around. We do have a cat. I lock the cat up while the chickens are running about the backyard. The, the cat, our cat likes to stand and stare at the chickens all day long. <laughs> so our chickens aren't laying many eggs and I do wonder if it's because of the cat in the background. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.